It's fair to say that Spider-Man is easily one of the most powerful and lovable superheroes that's ever existed. But much like other superheroes, his suits sometimes make all the difference. And as naturally talented and powerful as Peter Parker is alone, he does sometimes rely on his gear. Like the time when he loses his spidey senses, which starts our list at number 10 with Spider-Man's bulletproof suit or Spider Armor Mark II. This suit is designed when Peter Parker loses his spider senses, which we all know would make him much more susceptible to bullets specifically. So instead of taking a break and hiding away for a while or being too heroic and going out and getting shot, Peter just creates a new and improved spider armor to face off against Massacre, a mass murderer. Massacre had captured a bunch of hostages, but when Spidey swoops in, he makes easy work of the killer by easily deflecting his bullets. The suit's magnetic webbing also interferes with the villain's ability to remotely activate traps, which I'm not sure was planned or not, but hey, the suit comes through again for Spider-Man in that way too. This suit was very useful for this very specific situation, but sits back on the list just because there are simply much better suits coming up. Okay, at number nine, we've got Spider-Man's Electro-Proof suit. This suit was created in Amazing Spider-Man number 425 in an effort to get a one-up on Electro, a villain who we all know has electric powers. The reason why Peter Parker hadn't come up with this idea before is that it just didn't seem necessary as Spider-Man could usually find ways to outmatch Electro. But this time, Electro had found a way to supercharge himself and become even more powerful than ever before. So Spider-Man decides to design a brand new suit, which also just looks really cool. Although it was first presented in the comics, the suit can also be used in 2014's The Amazing Spider-Man 2 video game for PS4. Okay, number eight goes to the SP slash slash DR suit. Kind of says spider in a fun way. This suit is featured in the hit animated movie, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, but was first introduced in the comic event of the same name. The suit is controlled by Penny Parker, who's taking over for her late father, who used to man the suit. What's interesting about this armor is that it's partly controlled by a living radioactive spider that lives within it. And to use the suit, Penny has to get bitten by the spider, which she dutifully does. The suit is massive, offering tons of protection, and it shoots extra durable webs out of its integrated web shooters. And a suit that's mechanized and able to shoot webs even stronger than those of the original Spider-Man comes in handy when facing off against bad guys like Penny's universe's Mysterio. In a big face-off, the suit proves useful when Penny is able to avoid the effects of a nauseous gas emitted by Mysterio. So, it seems like the suit also offers some pretty effective filtration. Not the most versatile suit, but an interesting one that might come in pretty handy in certain situations. At number seven, it's the stealth suit, also known by fans as the big time costume. After facing off against the new Hobgoblin and the amazing Spider-Man number 649 and 650, Peter goes back to Horizon Labs where he'd been working a day job and designs the suit to be better, well, suited for the fight. This costume is extremely useful in that it's got a few different settings for different matchups. In camo mode, the suit turns green and keeps him invisible both visually and audibly to anyone who he doesn't want seeing him. This means that through certain lenses held by his allies, the green outlines can be seen so they know where he is in battle. The other mode is called anti-sound mode, which turns the suit red, and it cancels out all sonic-based attacks like the new Hobgoblin supersonic attacks. The suit also has anti-metal spiders that can shoot out the top of his wrists that will eat away at and dissolve metal. And the suit can also repair any tears in the fabric at the command of the wearer's thoughts. At number six, we've got Spidey's Future Foundation costume. This suit is designed by the Future Foundation, which is kind of like the revised Fantastic Four, and it has a really cool black and white finish but that's not what this list is about. The suit is also extremely handy and implements some pretty futuristic technology known as third generation unstable molecules. This technology allows Peter Parker to switch from the black and white look to the classic red and blue, or even his civilian clothes in an instant with just a thought. The suit also can't get dirty due to the unstable molecules, which is pretty cool. But the most useful part of this suit is probably its stealth capabilities, which allows Spidey to go almost completely invisible. This feature is particularly useful when he needs to swing around at night without being seen. It's just a great suit that helps Peter Parker's already formidable powers to shine even more. And it's just one of the coolest looking ones, in my opinion. Okay, number five, we've got the Spider-Man 2099 suit. This spider suit has a cape. Yes, 
It's kind of small, but it's a freaking cape. First worn by Miguel O'Hara in Spider-Man 2099 number one, this suit was originally designed for Miguel to wear at a Day of the Dead celebration. Yes, this suit was meant for partying, but very soon became much more than that with an upgraded version actually incorporating jet boots. I think this is such a cool addition to a Spider-Man suit because it makes a lot of sense to enhance his swinging capabilities. It's also got GPS sensors, allowing the wearer to navigate around the city effortlessly. Sadly, in the newer iteration of the suit, the cape was scrapped, but in its place are these tiny web wings that allow the wearer to glide a bit more in the air. This suit is just a lot of fun and would be very useful for day to day crime fighting around the city because it allows this Spider Man to reach new speeds in the air and I would imagine longer times between web swings. It also just looks really cool again. Okay, fine, they all look cool, but I just have to say it still. Okay, at number four, we've got the Iron Spider armor created by Tony Stark. In many realities, Peter Parker either turns down this suit or retires it quickly for various reasons, but thankfully, he does make use of it a few times. We've all had the pleasure of seeing how this suit looks in all its 4K MCU glory, but what's really great about this suit is what it can do. Firstly, the most notable feature, visually speaking, are the mechanical spider arms, which are actually called Waldos for some reason. These arms actually have cameras on the tips of them to peer around corners and small grippers built to the end of the tips so they could act as extra arms for climbing and getting around. The suit can glide as well, allowing Spider-Man to move around a bit in the air and underwater because the suit also has a state-of-the-art mask filter that allows for nuclear, biological, and chemical filtration, as well as eight minutes of clean oxygen if the wearer needed to explore something underwater. There are so many more things to cover as well. This suit is basically just as protective as the classic Iron Man suit, and with all these extra abilities, it just adds so much more power to Peter Parker's already impressive abilities. All right, at number three, we've got Spider Armor Mark III, otherwise known as the Ends of the Earth suit. This suit is created in Horizon Labs by Peter Parker Parker as a last resort to help take down the Sinister Six. But I guess Peter works well under pressure because this suit is insane. Starting with the helmet, it has super hearing capabilities designed to pick up on Chameleon's heartbeat. The helmet could also communicate with Spider-Man's fellow teammates in battle with a calm link system. It also has a holographic sensor allowing the wearer to see through Mysterio's holograms and illusions, and it's capable of repelling Electro entirely, turning him back into human form on command, which is pretty cool. The suit allows for Spider-Man to fly with jet boosters and enhances web shooters that allow the user to fire more webs than the typical suits. Not only that, but the utility belt on the suit carries multiple cartridges of different types of webbing, also spider tracers and ice spiders. And listen, I'm leaving out a few things for time's sake too. Listen, the only reason why this suit doesn't take number one is because its abilities were catered pretty specifically to the feat of taking down the Sinister Six. So in other cases, it might not be quite as effective as it is facing off in this specific scenario, but that's only one small fault for a very useful suit. Pretty nuts. At number two, we're graduating from the term useful and veering more into absolutely overpowered with Spider-Man's Captain Universe suit. All right, fine, this isn't really a suit per se. Like, it's not something any old Peter Parker could slip on and off, but it's still a suit and it's still extremely useful. This suit was created when Spider-Man was involved in a lab accident, but unlike the radioactive spider situation, this time he's actually given what's called the uni power, making him one of the most powerful Spider-Man characters we've ever come across. He's got Univision, which endows him with a sort of cosmic consciousness, allowing him to sense things not just coming at him in the macro world, but he can sense things on a subatomic level, bringing the Spidey senses to a whole new meaning. This power also allows him to get people to tell the truth, which is pretty handy, I'd say. In Captain Universe form, Spider-Man can also manipulate energy, allowing him to fly. And above all this, the actual suit allows Spider-Man to withstand extremes in temperatures, allowing the wearer to traverse basically any environment on Earth and possibly beyond. He also has enough strength to punch the Hulk into orbit. And yes, it may be arguable that this isn't the suit allowing for this kind of power, but the suit and the powers kind of come together in this instance, so it remains on the list. Okay, at number one, it is the Amazing Spider-Man suit or Spider Armor Mark IV. Okay, here we go. This suit can detect magic, infrared, and X-ray beams 
scan injured people to determine their injuries, and even detect plasma levels in blood to help administer first aid on a superhuman level. And in this iteration of the spider armor, the different webbing is available not by switching out cartridges on a waistband, but by voice command. So the wearer just has to say the word and the web shooter will go from shooting regular webs to electrified webs to concrete webbing, which is a web with such strong durability that it was able to stop an Aztec god in its tracks. The suit also has an array of defensive capabilities like administering antidotes if the wearer comes into contact with poison, as well as stealth and camo abilities as well. I'm missing so much just to keep this one short, but it's fair to say that this suit is the most widely useful as of posting this video, and I just can't wait to see what comes with the Spider Armor Mark V. All right, that's my list. Did you agree? Did you disagree? Did I leave anything out? That's fine. Leave it in the comments. This has been Top 10 Nerd, and I'm your host, Ben Ball. Please enjoy social media responsibly. But if you'd like, follow me on Instagram, and until next time, stay nerdy.